But this photograph here and uh, this one right here were taken by a man named Jonathan back on August the 8th. Notice something in both of these pictures. These are two separate pictures he took just seconds apart. And he sent them to me uh, wanting to know what, if anything, he thought maybe this object was in the sky in this photograph. He didn't see it when he took the picture, and he wasn't sure what to make of it. This is where he took both of those pictures that I just showed you, right here. There's two separate pictures, this one and the one before. Right here in southwest South Dakota at Crazy Horse Monument, and here it is on Google Earth. Right here. So that's where we're at, August the 8th. So then this one here, I zoomed in and adjusted the contrast just briefly. And then I get um, to where I really get to adjust in the color and stuff. But you can see it right up there. And it, it's definitely very interesting. Uh, pay attention to whatever these things are. There's one here at 6 o'clock, because I'm going to refer to these here um, later in the video. There's one at 6, and there's one way over here at about the 1 o'clock position. But just kind of pay attention to the distance and location of both of those things, whatever they are. I have no idea what those are either. Um, and you'll see what I mean here. There's the one at 6 o'clock position. Here's the one at 1. This is picture number two. This is picture one. This is picture two. And I've, adjust, I've adjusted the color in both of these pictures. You can see that this little white object, whatever that is, it was in both of his photographs. In this photograph, it's at the four o'clock position. And this is in the same position with respect to one o'clock. It's just farther away. So I don't know if these things, whatever they are, were moving or if this possibly moved a little bit, whatever it is, I have no idea. But I've seen hundreds and hundreds of, of uh, lens flares in photographs. And this is just simply not your typical lens flare by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, it looks like a honeycomb. It's a hexagon. And when you look at it really close, it's got definition. It's got a circle in the middle of it. Um, this is another perspective of this I've adjusted the uh, in fact this is full negative exactly what I've done I've taken it and put it into full negative looks like a honeycomb uh, what else do we have here's another look at it it's very dark in this but I've done all this I've adjusted all the light just so you can see it at, at a different perspective different perspective definitely got a honeycomb thing going on here what do we got here this one here, it almost looks like it's got uh, reflectivity. And here's the object at 6 and 1 o'clock. Here's another look at it here. Definitely like a, a honeycomb. Here's another look at it here. That's a pretty good picture there. The way I adjusted the, I think it was the lighting and I remove some color I don't know but you could see the there's a circle in the center of this thing and there you can see it again in this photograph um, here's another one and here's these objects still at six and one now the reason I say that is because of this photograph the way I've got it adjusted I, I've really got things uh, tweaked on this one and you can see the clouds almost look like they are moving around this thing but maybe not I, I don't know light looks different up here looks a little darker down here like maybe it's tilted at a at an angle or there's something that goes vertical you can almost imagine a vertical triangle going here 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 meeting at a point up here at the top because there does look like a star at the top these things could be vertical, and that could be why it's reflecting light on this side and not on this side. I don't know. I'm just thinking outside the box of, of simply what this thing could be. It's not your typical lens flare, that's for sure. Um, just another look at it here again, and yet another perspective here. And I'm up pretty close on this, but here's what's interesting. I did some research. I looked on New Force. 
where people report things that they see in the sky. It's got an archive, and I went back through the archives, and I was looking for chevrons, different types of objects that people report that they see in the sky, and there's always hundreds and hundreds of reports. Not every month. Some months are, are more than others, but this particular one here I found interesting. I did find several uh, people reporting seeing chevrons, uh, but this one here... I wanted to share because this gentleman here reported seeing a fast moving what he calls a black star star shaped object transiting the moon at 144 times magnification as he was viewing the moon through his telescope and I think he had a camera on it as well I don't think he got a picture it just went through really fast as he was looking at the moon but here's the thing he drew a sketch of what he saw and that's what he saw. Not only did he see it once, and this was on November 30th, uh, less than 10 days ago, he's seen this phenomenon twice. And that resembles, even though it's missing one point, that resembles a chevron or a honeycomb. This same guy has seen it two times in uh, less than a year. He says as a point of interest, this is actually the second of these objects that I have seen while observing the moon. The earlier observation took place on June 23rd, 2016. And there is a report on file here at New Force, and he reported the same phenomenon. So I found that interesting. There were other people that reported seeing like triangles and chevrons, but... Um, this was the closest I could find to something that kind of matched this description of whatever this thing here is. And again, this photo was taken by Jonathan at the Crazy Horse Monument in South Dakota, August 8, 2017. He did not see this object. He just noticed it in the photographs after the fact. It does look like it may be moving. It if it was moving, it was probably moving at a, at a very high rate of speed. Probably wasn't meant to be seen, obviously. But it does look like if it is something that is an unidentified aerial phenomenon, looks very sophisticated, whatever it is, um, I, I don't know. But it's definitely not your typical lens flare, that's for sure. Those are typically round and and very obvious. You know those when you see them, but... This is definitely not your typical lens flare, that's for sure. So